Bangladesh agriculture has made commendable achievement in increasing production and thus food security at national, regional and household level. The recent accomplishment of the country in vegetable production is an example to the world. However, the tormenting fact is that the rural farm families are still lagging behind. One of the key reasons behind this is the less recognition being given to the hard work of rural women in agriculture. They are involved in many agriculture-related activities, but they lack knowledge on good agricultural practices, lack information on nutrition status of vegetable crops, no knowledge about markets, and they are not allowed to take decisions on any family-related issues not to speak about taking decision on agriculture-related matters. The Walmart Foundation projects on empowering women through training 40,000 women farmers has changed the scenario now. The project is being in operation since late 2013 in phases. The second phase being implemented by International Fertilizer Development Center, IFDC, started from January 2017 and titled Accelerating Vegetable Productivity Improvement, a VPI project, has shed more light on these issues specifically. We didn't used to do the farm work before. Only four or five years ago, we started to do so. We grow pointed good, cabbage and cauliflower in our lands. And sometimes we grow eggplants also. I use guti urea for farming. I have learned about the use of guti urea from the training sessions of IFDC. I'm getting much better production since using this fertilizer. Under the AVPI project, more than 40,000 women farmers were trained on the use of good quality seeds, balanced use of fertilizers including organic fertilizer, nutrition value of different crops, fertilizer dip placement, efficient use of water, using pollen at house to protect from insects in high-value horticultural crops, motivational meeting held with trained farmers, motivational workshop and operational training conducted for fertilizer briquetting machine owners, field demonstrations established and field days organized, assessment conducted to know women farmers' knowledge on markets and market information, market seminars held to link women with market actors. The trained women are now aware about good agricultural practices and applying them in the field. They are now interested to know when they will get premium price of which product for which crop contacting market actors. This knowledge has strengthened the economic power of their impoverished farm families. The lives of women farmers have improved in 233 villages of 24 upazilas in the 10 districts of South and Southwestern region. The farmers here used to use broadcast urea before, but it couldn't provide a good production of vegetables. We first learned about the use of guti urea from the trainings. We apply the guti urea 10 to 12 days after planting the seedlings. Three urea briquettes are planted 3 to 4 inches deep by the roots of each plant. The shape and size of the plants turn out to be so beautiful. The flowers also look lovely. Even the fruits bore from those plants grow to be very nice. More than 40,000 women farmers and their family members have directly benefited from this project. In total, more than 160,000 people benefited in 40,000 households. Crop production has increased by 1 to 17 metric ton per hectare in about 6,000 hectares of land.
these lands are producing a variety of vegetables and fruits. Total vegetable production increased by about 23,000 metric ton, valued at US $3.68 million. The project has already surpassed the investment indicating value for money. As a result, additional income per farm has increased up to 16,000 taka, which is equivalent to 200 US dollars. The main objective and purpose of the ABPI project is to empower the women, fruit and vegetable farmers and ensuring food security of the family members by building the farmers' capacity about the production and sales of their goods. Empowerment and efficiency of women in agriculture has been playing the most effective role in rural food safety. Women now are also safe from malnutrition. The extent of female participation in the Guti Urea training sessions arranged by Walmart Foundation is undoubtedly very significant and praiseworthy. It's because with the help of these training sessions, women have been able to increase their earnings. They also know now a lot more about nutrition. These trainings are making them more aware. As a result, they are getting involved more and more into farming. They are more encouraged now to grow fruits and vegetables. And using Guti Urea is increasing the production up to 10 to 20 percent. This increase changed their lifestyle. Urea use will reduce up to at least 30 percent under the project. Moreover, Bangladesh government would be able to save a huge amount of subsidy. Within a span of one year, due to application of good agricultural practices, the rate of return was almost triple of the estimated cost of project. This is an optimistic picture with the hope that the continuance of this success will turn out to be an unprecedented example of agricultural production, food security, nutrition development and empowerment of women in future.